How to blanch and saute vegetables. Okay, the first thing we want to do is not burn it in the oven, but blanch it first. You can do this with almost every vegetable. So we're going to throw it in this boiling water right here. But before I do that, I'm going to season the water with some salt. When you're blanching something, you always want the water to be salty, kind of salty like the sea. So it may seem a little shocking how much salt I throw in here. There we go, and in goes the broccolini. I'm going to bring this up to a boil as fast as I can. And you'll notice once you plunge it into like this uh, boiling water, it turns vibrant green, and it'll get even greener when I shock it again in the ice bath. Step one, blanch and drip dry. All right, my uh, water's come to a boil here. Not overcooked, not undercooked. To my left here, I have a ice bath. And now, as you see, the broccoli looks nice and vibrant green. It's about to stay that color. and get even brighter, actually, in the uh, ice water. Again, this is called blanching. You can do this with almost every vegetable. It's used quite a bit in professional kitchens. These are shocking and getting nice and cooled down. And once they're cool, I'm gonna dry them off here because I'm gonna saute them up with some shallots. I don't want too much water in there. I'm just gonna lay them out on, on the towel. All right, give some of that moisture out. Give it a little hug with the towel here. Now I got a pan that's hot over here. I'm gonna saute it up. Step two, perfect saute. You got a saute pan in here, a little bit of olive oil. There we go. A little fresh cracked black pepper. Very simple. We just want to keep the kind of integrity of the broccolini. Don't want to screw with it too much. Anything stupid. A little saute. Don't want to manipulate it too much. I got some shallots here. Throw those in there. A little more olive oil. A little bit of salt. Don't add too much salt because they're already blanched, but a little bit more I think will be good. There we go. Getting some color but not burnt. Nothing that came out of Bob Marley's closet. All right, the shallots are just translucent now. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of lemon. And now it's time to plate it up. That's a pretty girl. Okay, finish a little bit more lemon and a little drizzle of olive oil. And voila, broccolini that's not burnt, that actually looks good. I hope you enjoy it.